Hello folks, thanks for tuning in again. Um, I just want to do a quick video on when is it a good idea to ask the court to appoint a guardian ad litem or a GAL uh, in your case. Hi, my name is attorney Anthony Spratley. I'm the owner and founder of Genus Hall Group here in Albuquerque, New Mexico, where we practice family law, which also includes uh, custody. And so when is it a good, good idea to ask the court to appoint a guardian ad litem or a GAL? Well, uh, if you want the court to make a decision on what's in the best interest of the child, you would want the court to appoint what's called a guardian ad litem. Usually the guardian ad litem is an attorney, and that attorney is assigned to the child and so or children. And so does that mean that the guardian ad litem um, has an attorney-client relationship with the parent? No, it does not. It has attorney-client privilege with the child and with the child only. And so what does the guardian ad litem do? Well, they're tasked to find out what's in the best interest of the child. So say for instance, you want to change um, the child's residence, you want to move out of state to a different state. The guardian ad litem can look into that to determine whether or not that is in the best interest for that child uh, to move out of state or to remain here in state um, in New Mexico. And so what does the guardian ad litem do? Uh, so the guardian ad litem talks to the parents, the guardian ad litem talks to the child, and then you know, other potential uh, collateral witnesses that would be important as part of the uh, guardian ad litem's duties to represent the child and in, in trying to determine what's in the best interest of the child. Uh, once that investigation is complete by uh, the guardian ad litem, uh, the guardian ad litem uh, will oftentimes issue a report and does, that does not get filed with the court and also recommendations that does get filed with the court. And then the parties have the opportunity to review those recommendations and object to them and then to request a hearing if there are objections to the recommendations. Usually what i found is that when the guardian ad litem uh, issues the recommendations, uh, to the court and to the parties for that matter, uh, the court usually adopts the majority of those recommendations. I'm not saying that that's 100% true all the time, but it's more often than not that the courts will typically adopt those recommendations with some slight modifications. Now, if you want more information about whether or not a guardian ad litem is appropriate in your case, you can go to our website. There's more great content. You know, you can check us out here at the link below so that you can get more information. Share this video with someone else that you think might find this content helpful. All right, folks, that's all I have for now. And until next time, have a great day.